And um, I was lucky enough to have him mentor me for the better part of a decade. So I am lucky in that it is definitely big shoes to fill, but um, I had a nice slow ramp up where they where I filled in for him over the years and got some reps in. But um, in my mind, this will always be Webby's show. And that's not just uh, uh, a, a throwaway line. I mean, it's in the practical way that we cut the game. It's, it's his blueprint. And I'll do some different stuff on the edges, but the basic camera assignments are the same. And I make no bones about that, that um, we're, we're sticking with, with his plan and this will always be his broadcast. What is the technique that you would say stands out if you were to teach the Bill Webb style of directing that other directors would recognize? Well, I think a lot of tight shots. I think Webby's known for for that. Um, some some quick cuts, although some of the stuff that was written about him, I don't think he quick cut as much as some some other people. But I would say the tight shots, the not hanging on the center field camera was a big lesson that Webby always hammered home, that in between pitches, you know, there's always something you can show. There's always context, the defense, who's on deck, who's in the bullpen, who's due up third in the inning, who may pinch hit, that there's, that there's always more layers to the game that you could be showing. And to pay attention to the little, the game within the game, the little things, the interactions in the dugout between players between coaches or managers and players um, and, and not not getting lazy and not just sitting back between pitches and always thinking about how you can contextualize where you are in the game and sometimes that's not just the game sometimes that's a season you know when you do a baseball game every night it's um, there's a lot of layers to it but I think that would be one of the number one principles that Webby uh, handed down to me.